tonight on WBOC News at 7. The longest serving woman in congressional history is leaving, and one of these Maryland politicians will be elected as Senator Barbara Mikulski's replacement. And Delaware is saying goodbye to its top office holder. Will the state's next governor be Congressman John Carney or State Senator Colin Benini? And Delaware, Maryland, and Virginia, Virginia congressional seats are up for grabs in this election. Meet the candidates vying to represent Delmarva. Now, WBOC News at 7, Delmarva's News Leader. Good evening. I'm Paul Butler. And I'm Todd Carley. This is WBOC News at 7 o'clock. Well, campaign 2016 is coming to a close. Election day now less than two weeks away. And tonight, we look at Delmarva's contested races to help you select our next local leaders. And we begin near the top of the ticket in Maryland in a seat that is vacant for the first time in 30 years. Maryland U.S. Senator Barbara Mikulski is retiring. Now, the race to replace her pits a congressional veteran against a fast-rising member of the House of Delegates. WBOC Steve Hammett sat down with both candidates looking to represent Maryland in the U.S. Senate. Republican Delegate Kathy Shalega has been in the Maryland General Assembly for six years. She quickly rose through the ranks to become the minority whip. She says her opponent, seven-term Democratic Congressman Chris Van Hollen, would be more of the same in Washington. People across the state are pretty fed up with Washington. Um, universally feel that Washington's broken. What I've been doing uh, throughout my public life is fighting uh, for working people uh, in Maryland. Both candidates agree that changes have to be made to the Affordable Care Act, but what about repealing it? I would love to see it repealed, but I'm a realist. I mean, part of the problem with Washington is people make promises they can't deliver. And the numbers aren't there to repeal Obamacare. It's, it's President Obama's signature legislation, but everybody knows it needs to be changed. I do support changes to the Affordable Care Act. I think the Affordable Care Act has done some good things. For example, uh, families can keep their kids on their insurance policies till the age 26. Uh, it's gotten rid of what we call the donut hole uh, for folks on Medicare, so they don't have these huge increases in prescription drug costs. But there are certainly things that can be done uh, to improve, especially the exchanges. Van Hollen says his top priority is expanding economic growth in Maryland and across the country. So I put forward a lot of proposals, uh, including restructuring our tax code uh, to get rid of the perverse provisions that actually reward companies that move jobs and capital overseas. Instead, we want to reward companies that are investing uh, on the Eastern Shore in Maryland and throughout the United States. Shalega says on the economy, the first step is getting people in Washington who understand business. She and her husband have run a construction business in Maryland for 30 years. I know what it means to balance a budget and sign the front of a paycheck. I know how tough it is to employ people and I know what a great value small family businesses are to our economy. And too many people in Washington have never done that. Steve Hammond, WBOC News. Kathy Schlega says her top priority is fixing problems with the Veterans Administration and making sure that America's veterans are getting the help they deserve. 